Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, this is question number seven, well, question number four, actually, from the Solomon J collection of P4. And it's question number seven from my end of topic worksheet from P4, chapter three, parametric equations. And this um, question here, we have a graph that's shown. It says figure one shows the curve with parametric equation x equals a root t and y equals a t times 1 minus t. That's the curve part here. Okay, where t is greater than or equal to 0. It says where a is a positive constant, find dy dx in terms of t. So we're going to find dy dx in terms of t. So dy dx, when we have a parametric equation, is found by using the chain rule. So we want to find dy dx, but we have things in terms of a third parameter t. So what we should do is we should find dy dt times dt dx and that will give us dy dx so we need to take the x term which is a times root t so i'll get that ready to differentiate so i'll put a times t to the power of a half and the y term which is a t times 1 minus t and i also get this to ready to differentiate by expanding the bracket so you have a t minus a t squared so dx dt is going to be a half times a times t to the power of minus a half. Um, now I'm going to write this in, in this kind of like simpler type of form. I'll just make it simpler for me. So you can see on the top we'll have a, underneath we'll have two times um, the square root of t, two t to the power of half. All right, so that's dx dt. Okay, so therefore dt dx, is going to be the reciprocal of this. So this will be 2 times the square root of t divided by a. And dy dt, well, that's a lot simpler. It's just uh, the t term will lose, you'll, the, the a t term, you'll lose the t left with a, which is a constant, minus, and this is 2 times a times t. Remember, a is just a constant. OK, so that's a. So I can, I can uh, make it a bit simpler by factorizing. I can take out a as common. I have 1 minus 2 t. So our dy dx is going to be dy dt, which is a times 1 minus 2t, times dt dx, which is 2 root t over a. And we can see the a's cancel out. The a's cancel out. So that we're left with dy dx is equal to 2 times root t times 1 minus 2t. And there we have the expression dy dx in terms of t, the a cancelled out. Now we're go going to go on to part b. And it says here in part b, the curve meets the x-axis at the origin and at the point o. So I've just got a copy of the curve here. So the curve meets the x-axis at the origin and the point a. The tangent to the curve at a meets the y-axis at the point b, as shown. Show that the area of the triangle is a square O of uh, the triangle OAB. So the triangle OAB is this triangle over here. I'll just put it in a different color so it stands out a bit. It's a triangle from O to A to B. It's the blue lines here. That's the triangle OAB. We need to find the area of this triangle. Okay, so we need to have this length and this length. So if you find what OA is and OB is, we can find the area of this triangle and we have to show that it's a, a squared. Now we know that dy dx, we know that dy dx, we found out for the equation for the curve, dy dx, we found an expression for it in terms of t, is 2 times root t, 1 minus, times 1 minus 2t. And we also know the equation, the parametric equation of the curves is given by these values here. So I need to find, basically, the to find what B is, I need to find the equation of this tangent at A. OK? Um, I know that at A, at A, Y equals 0. OK, I need to find the x coordinate of A. Now, I know that the point A is where it part, the curve passes through that point. So does this tangent to the curve. So if the curve passes through the point A, then at a y equals zero in this curve so if i take y equals a times t times one minus t all right and 
I put y as 0, because I know at point A, y is 0. Then I'll have a times t, 1 minus t equals 0. This is like a quadratic equation. I have two solutions to this. One of them is, basically, if you divide by a, you'll have 0 equals t times 1 minus t. So one of them is t equals 0, and the other one is t equals 1. 1 minus t is 0, so t equals 1. So we got to figure out which one of these places t equals 0. We know that t can equal 0. It has to be greater than or equal to 0. So let's check when t equals 0. Let's, let's check the x-coordinates. When t equals 0, what's the x-coordinate? When t equals 0, x is going to be a times root 0, which is 0. Of course, that's a point. So when t equals 0, okay, this is the point t equals 0, the origin. As you can see, when t equals 0 here, that's also going to become 0. So we need the point t equals 1. t equals 1 is the point that we need for a. So at a, we can say that means t equals 1, because that's the other place where the y value is 0. So when t equals 1, the x coordinate is going to be a times root 1, which is a. So I know the coordinates of the point a are lowercase a and 0. Okay, And I know I need to find the... So I know this point. So this is this length from here to here is a. So I know the base of this triangle. I need to know the height of this triangle. To find the height of the triangle, I need to know what this place is, which is the y-intercept of this line. So I need to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at a. Okay. So we can say at a, we know that t equals um, at a, we know that t equals one. So therefore dy dx at a is going to be 2 times the square root of 1 times 1 minus 2 times 1 because we know that dy dx is equal to 2 root t times 1 minus 2t as we found in the first part of the question so that means dy dx is equal to 2 times root 1 is 2 and you're going to have here uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so dy dx is minus 2. As we can see, it looks like a sensible, you know, it's a negative gradient. So we can say that the gradient of the tangent at a is equal to minus 2, and the point a is a0. So now I can find the equation of the tangent. So the equation of the tangent at a is going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so y minus the 0 equals m which is minus 2 times x minus a so we end up with y equals minus 2x plus 2a so we can see that that's the y-intercept the y-intercept is 2a when x is 0 y is 2a so I know that this point here is now 2a so this line is 2a so we can say the area of the triangle the area of the triangle OAB area of OAB is going to be equal to a half times the base times the height. The two cancel with the two, you're left with A squared. So therefore the area is equal to A squared and we have answered that question. And that was part B and the final part of that question. Um, and you know <coughs> Uh, other questions you um, might want to watch from Solomon J will be found in the playlist that will appear over here. So as I answer the ones from P4 Solomon J, they will end up in this playlist. Questions about parametric equations from P4 in general will end up in this playlist over here. Questions from my worksheet, endotopic worksheet, should be in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel from this link and on the top of the page I'll put a link um, which of a card which will take you to one of the other P4 past papers that I've done. Thank you for watching.